that uh, we or the members are uh, Order. Go going to impeach uh, the deputy president without reason, they can listen to us and we can give them the reasons why we stand noonday to make this presentation. First of all, Member for Machakos County, what is the problem? What about the descending voices, Shuan? The speaker has no way of knowing who is descending. <laughs> yes. Go on, Kajuang. Yes. Yes, Ngozia, what is the problem? Mr. Speaker, TJ Kajuang, one minute. I, I have come uh, to make a very small presentation as the member of Ruaraka. First of all, having seen that the motion has been signed by 291 members, this House, single constituencies are 290. If 291 have signed and will vote, Gachagua must go. <laughs> Number two, we have not come here to vilify anybody. We have come here with facts, we have come here with evidence, and we have come here with the law. I want to be in a country where my son and my daughter, if he qualifies and if he's, if he's eligible, will get employment, will do business, will walk proud and tall, not because he comes from Waondo village in Nyanza, but because she or he is eligible. This politics of everybody must come from Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya. Usiguze mrima. Usiguze mrima. We must show, Mr. Speaker, that this country is for us all. We must show, Mr. Speaker, that there are no people who are entitled more than the others. That there are people who fought for Maumau more than the others. Or that there are people who are more populated than others. And so this idea that they work for Kenya Kwanzaa government and that they must eat, it is their time to eat. This deputy president, his, his, his mentality is that he got votes for uh, President Ruto and so it is his time to eat. For that reason only, I would vote because I want a situation after we, do, after we are through with elections, everybody, including me, is served because I pay taxes like everybody else. For the deputy speaker to go yes, to... Yes, Jomba. There's a point of order. Sorry. Mr. Speaker, is the member on the floor... Which order? Mr. Speaker, I'm addressing Mr. Speaker. You are not the speaker. I am addressing Mr. Speaker. Stop heckling. You are not the speaker. I'm addressing the speaker. Go ahead. Mr. Speaker, is the member on Rabokajiang on order in order to say that there is a mentality that the deputy president has a mentality to eat? Does he have any gadget to mention mentality? Is that a fact? Can you prove? Can you prove that there is a mentality? Which gadget do you use to measure mentality? Go on. Check. Check, check. Uh, Mr. Speaker, first Go of all, first of all, pronounce my name properly. I'm not Kachechua. I am Kajuang, not Kanjuang. Number two, Mr. Speaker, <laughs> uh, this is a problem. 
everybody, I, I heard them call it Raira, Kanjuang. They do, some of you must learn that we are in a country for everybody. Nobody is powerful than the other. Nobody comes from a section of community. Today we will show that this country is for everybody. Yes. Mr. Speaker, there must be hygiene in leadership. There must be hygiene. You cannot, you cannot trade with government. And you are the deputy speaker. The deputy president. So, sorry. You cannot trade with government. And then you are the deputy president. You cannot trade with government and you are a state officer. Even you who are sitting here, stop, stop, stop trading with government. So that you only have one work, which is an elected member of this house. So evidence has been laid before us. And we are clear on page 16 of this evidence that him and his family, first of all, he thinks that uh, his family it is all right if his family trades with the government. He has not read uh, the Leadership and Integrity Act. You, yourself, your wife, your mother, your, your son, your daughter, must not trade with government so that we allow uh, enterprises to grow out there. Mr. Speaker, only on that basis, I think that there is a situation here which we must save. The third one, Mr. Speaker, he is principal assistant to the president. If we don't deal with this, this, this thing today, all vice presidents or deputy presidents will think that the president is age, age mate. There must be a distinction between a president and a deputy president. This one, at least the president has allowed him to chair the cabinet. At least the president has allowed him to be the chairman of IBEC. Now, well, the, the law has allowed him to be uh, the chairman of IBEC. What would happen if, as the chairman of IBEC, he is only giving uh, budget allocations to people from Rima? Huh? What would happen if he is the chairman of IBEC, only giving budget allocations to people of his family? Mr. Mr. Speaker, the last thing I want to say, this presidency as it is, is so dysfunctional that even if we left it today, there would be a problem in presidency in such a manner that would uh, undermine national integrity and national security. I, I don't need the information. I just have one minute to go. Thank you. Finish up. Y yes, Finish up. yes Mr. Chairman. Mr. Mr. Speaker, we, don't, we are not going to impeach him because of uh, what uh, that speaker had talked about, that uh, we are lynching or that it's a mob. We have carefully considered, and the law is that uh, we are not talking about civil liability or culpability. We are talking about accountability. We are talking about political governance and political responsibility. And so all those things that he has said out there, he must take responsibility for. And we are politicians. We are not a court of law. He will be tried in Senate. Ours is just to initiate this process. And the Senate will ask very pertinent question. He is saying that uh, all these things he, he, he got from his brother and so on. They will investigate and find out, did he pay tax for them? When he came, when he filed this uh, report and said that uh, he's worth so much, did he say that he also got something from his brother? Now, no, it is not here. You don't know. This thing is asked in the Senate. It is the Senate that is the trial chairman and the investigating. So the Senate will also ask, will also ask his uh, return forms. He is also re asked the KRA forms if this information are consistent. And so, in all the evidence that I've seen, in all the charges I've seen, I return a verdict that Gachagua must do what? Gachagua must do what? Gachagua must do what? Order members, will you be upstanding?
Order, honorable members. It is now 109, and the House stands adjourned until 2.30 this afternoon.